What's going on guys and welcome to the next episode of the Cracker Pack series. Today we are opening up a pack of Avacyn Restored, which I didn't actually realize how many awesome cards were in this set. So let me just list a few of these out. At the top we have at $95 the original Cavern of Souls. That is insane. Uh, we also, and that's only at rare, I just want to point out, that is not a mythic. We do also have underneath that at $27, Craterhoof Behemoth, which is a monster card. I love that thing. Uh, Tammy of the Moon Sage sitting right around $23. And then Avacyn herself, as well as Exquisite Blood, uh, sitting right around $22. i am sure there are a smattering of other awesome cards. I'm just not going to go over everything because we will be here forever. Um, as always, though, we will, of course, go through this as if it is a draft scenario. So we will try and determine i should say what our pack one pick one will be uh i'm gonna go ahead and say i'm not the best at drafting uh so by all means if you disagree with me please let me know in the comment section below i'm perfectly happy to talk about that and figure out why you think i was wrong or whatever that's fine uh so Let's kick it off. Our first common here is a Trusted Force Mage. It has 2-2 two, two for 3. It also has Soul Bond, so basically when this comes into play, you can pair it with another creature if it's... Uh, excuse me. I'm going to read this actual the actual text off this. You may pair this creature with another unpaired creature when either enters the battlefield, so not just when this enters the battlefield. Uh, they remain paired for as long as you control both of them. And uh, as long as it's paired with another creature, each of those gets plus 1, plus 1. Uh, so hopefully the idea is that this enters play as a 3-3 three, three, uh, and then also gives something else a little bit of a buff. Uh, obviously you can wait and hold off if you have another creature that you want the buff on uh, and play that creature afterwards. You can obviously wait and decide not to soul bond it, but uh, this this is like pretty good filler. Uh, I don't think it's amazing, obviously. I don't think it's first pick, but it's pretty good. Uh, Searchlight Ga Geist excuse me, is a 2-1 for 3 with flying. Uh, and then you can pay three and a black and it gains death touch until end of turn. I generally like cards like this. Obviously, it's an evasive 2-1, which is like not amazing, but decent. Uh, being able to give it death touch seems really good. Uh, yeah, it does cost four mana, so it's a bit of a mana sink. But sometimes you really want a mana sink. Sometimes that's the way you need to do it. Uh, excuse me. If you're trying to be proactive, you can give it death touch ahead of the attack. Uh, if you're trying to block with it, you can leave mana open and then be able to block basically anything and kill it. So uh, it seems pretty good, uh, probably better than the Force Mage, but we'll obviously see what else we get. Pathbreaker Worm is a 6-4 for 6 with Soul Bond as well. And as long as it's paired with another creature, both of those creatures have Trample. This is just a decent top-end bomb. 6-4 uh, four for 6 isn't amazing, but giving both creatures Trample is pretty good. Uh, I do like that more than the Geist as well. Um, well, but this card's really good. So Griff Vanguard is a 3-2 for 5 with Flying. And um, when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. This card's really, really solid. 3-2 uh, Flyer is nothing to shake a stick at. That card is amazing. Uh, and then obviously it replaces itself. So for 5 mana, you're getting a lot of value out of one card. And I really like that. Uh, terrifying Presence is an instant for one and a green. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt by creatures other than target creature this turn. I don't like this card. I tend not to like fog effects in general for draft. Uh, they just don't seem to be very good. Uh, but they can, I guess, come in handy if you're not an aggro deck or something like that. But in general, not a very good card. Uh, Riot Ringleader is a 2-2 two, two for 3. When it attacks human creatures you control, get plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. Obviously, there are a lot of humans in this set. Uh, we have one, obviously, the Griff Vanguard is one, uh, and I know that there is a draft archetype around that. Uh, so this seems like a decent card in that deck, but it doesn't obviously seem amazing. It seems sort of just like a buff. It, it's fine. Uh, I don't want to first pick it by any means, but I'm sure it's decent in that deck. Uh, sheltering Word is one and a green for an instant. Target creature you control gains hexproof until end of turn. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Uh, this is obviously a protection card. Uh, if somebody tries to remove a big threat of yours, um, you basically give it hexproof and then the, the card fizzles. On top of that, obviously it pads your life total a little bit. I don't like this card though, to be honest. Uh, I feel like there might be instances if you were against a very heavy removal deck where this might come in handy, but in general, not a huge fan. Uh, Crippling Chill 
An instant for two and a blue, tap target creature. It does not tap during its controller's next untap step. And you also draw a card. This is a great tempo swing. Uh, obviously, tapping something down for a turn is great. You also get to replace this card, which is awesome as well. Uh, that being said, I still like the Vanguard a little bit more. It just impacts the board a bit. Uh, Spectral Prison is an enchantment for one and a blue enchant creature. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Uh, when it becomes the target of a spell, sacrifice Spectral Prison. Prison, excuse me. Uh, this card's good. I mean, it's cheap blue pseudo removal. Uh, it's easy to get rid of, but they do have to waste a spell on it, or you know, something like that has to happen to make this card go away. Uh, but I, I do like this card. I wouldn't take it over the Vanguard by any means, but it is pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, call to serve is an enchantment for one and a white. Enchant non-black creature. That creature gets plus one, plus two, and has flying. It is also an angel in addition to its other types. Uh, not a fan of this card. It ha it suffers more from the classic enchant creature issue where it brings up a two for one on you, uh, which is not very good. Uh, this is, I mean, okay, it's cheap, but I don't really like it. Uh, Marrow Bats, 4-1 for 4 and a black. It has flying, and you can pay 4 life to regenerate them. This card seems pretty good. Uh, it doesn't seem bad at all. You can regenerate it. Obviously, 4 life is pretty hefty uh, in draft especially, uh, but it is a 4-1 flyer for 5, which seems pretty good. It's just going to die so much, unfortunately, uh, and I don't like it over the Vanguard. Uh, Haven Ghoul Vampire is a 2-2 for 4, and when it deals combat damage to a player, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. Uh, whenever another creature dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on the vampire as well. This card seems great. Uh, it takes a little bit to get going, uh, so there is sort of a window where removal is going to be basically at a premium on this card, but uh, if it survives a turn or two, this card will get huge, and that's awesome. I still don't like it more than the Vanguard, if I'm going to be honest. I really like the Vanguard. It's a great card. Um, Haunted Guardian is a 2-1 for 2. It has Defender and First Strike. Pretty straightforward. Not a huge fan of this card. Uh, the defender really messes with this one. If it didn't have that, I think it'd be great. Uh, it goes in any deck. It has first strike, so it's got some utility. But the fact that it has defender just kind of ruins it for me. Uh, Demon Lord of Ashmouth. So a 4-5 four, for 4 with flying. When it enters the battlefield, exile it unless you sacrifice another creature. It also has undying. When this creature dies, if it had no plus 1, plus 1 counters on it, Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. This is definitely going to be the pick. Uh, that card is really good. The Vanguard is also fantastic, but uh, this card is just great. Uh, it brings itself back immediately. It's a 5-4 uh, four for four. Yes, you do have to sack a creature, but it is worth it for something like this. So I really like that. That would definitely be my pick. Obviously, let me know if you disagree in the comment section, uh, but I think that's a pretty clear one. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the crack pack series. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. As always, please make sure to subscribe as well uh, to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.